Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial where we're going to continue and loop this texture. So if we jump back in Houdini and if we go up here, um, this is what we have now. So we're going to make sure that the shape is uh, round instead. So when it pours, it's going to go here and then the particle is going to die. <clears throat> so there is a way to do this and we need to kill the particles when the age of the particle is certain amount. And this, if we middle mouse click here, we on the points, the green points here, we have color and new parts, position, p scale, speed, and so forth. But we're missing the H. And in here, um, we can decide what kind of extra attributes we want on the particles. And we want the H, so we can work with H. And also, we're going to uh, maybe use the ID. I'm not sure. We, we took it, but um, I'm not. Let's see if we need it. So if we were, hmm. So usually we do a Wrangler and maybe like this, and then we kill the particles. And I guess this could work. And uh, we just need to make sure that we re-simulate this again. So let's say we want the particles to not be bigger than, than this part here. And now we can see here it has the um, age here. And I'm actually going to do it inside the flip solver. Because if we kill the particles outside after the flip solver here, then we actually deleting the particle after the simulation and the simulation takes into account um, the particles all the way. So it doesn't really uh, be the, it's not the correct way. We need to delete the particles inside the flip solver. So in order to do that, if we just go inside it, we're gonna, in this source, we're gonna make a Wrangler and in this one we need we're gonna make let's say we want from 12 until 19 we want we want them um, and the particles starts to die but not exactly on 19 but it's gonna be a va variation between 12 and 19 where the particles gonna die so the first thing we need is this min and max sliders. So this is going to be, let's say, so if it's 1-1, one, one, it's going to be 24 frames because one second is 24 frames, right? And we're going to make sure that um, so if we do 0 0.5, it's going to be 12-ish. So let's say we want this kind of time frame, min and max. And we want, we want it to be random. So we're going to have the value first of B done by the ID, because all the points has the, the ID. And if we take the ID, so they will have a different value in the random. And if we, we take the value and do a fit, and we do the value, and the value is um, randomized between 0 and 1. So we're going to take the value, and it's going to be uh, mapped from 0 to 1, to new values and the new zero gonna be the min and the new one gonna be the max. So now 
the value going to be somewhere between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. And then it's only about to do if h is um, more older than the value. Then we're just going to do remove point and in the on the zero is this node and then it's going to be at pt now so if we simulate this part now you can see that no particles older than 0 0.7 seconds is going to exist and all we don't want to go inside and change these values so we're going to make a controller out here it's an attribute wrangler <clears throat> and we're gonna call it controller and we're gonna do color i want it green and it's super important that it run over detail and then we're just gonna have uh, the same thing here so we can just copy these ones go back in here paste these ones and we're gonna the min we're gonna copy parameter go inside here and we're gonna here in min we're gonna paste relative reference so it's actually picking up the controller min and here we're gonna have the max one so we could go out and copy but i'm just gonna do paste relative reference and change this to max and now it should work so here it's 0 48 0 73 and that's what we have here so now it's easier for us to change these values and also they are going up to one so if we go into this cogwheel here and do edit parameter interface we could just change this one to maybe five seconds or yeah let's let's do five and five here and accept so now it's easier to work with this so what we want to do we want to actually crank up the particle separation hmm yeah let's do that 0 0.5 and if we start to and also it's a little bit um big i'm actually gonna lower the radius so i'm gonna do the radius to one one and then if i do if i do uniform scale here I can, i'm kind of uh, do all the free floats at the same time I find that a little bit easier and then we have it here yeah that's good so if we simulate and it's a little bit too big so let's say we're gonna do one and one two do a new simulation So actually here we can see when it's when it's half a second or 18 frame 18 what could that be i don't know maybe somewhere here about let's do it again a little bit shorter i think do it one more time so and see how that looks so all right so this is what we have and let's say that's good enough so we just do it again so we do this one we do um render we're gonna do we can actually do 50 frames this time And I'm also going to just save the file in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to do render all again. And then when the first pass is done, we're going to do the render all second pass as well. So the second pass is finished. Let's go inside Unity. And we do need to... 
populate the textures again. And now you see that we have the sharp boundary fixed. So um, the next step is going to be to actually I'm going to do a little bit tighter and also I'm going to a little, little bit, little, little bit tighter and then we're going to loop it as well. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So um, this part, I'm going to make sure we're actually going to do a little bit tighter with the um, particles today die faster. <clears throat> It's not a big difference, but there is. So now we're going to loop this. And the way I do this is to do a null over here. This one's going to be a time shift. Time. Time shift like this. And this one going to be frame and add 30 frames. So whenever we are on the frame 30, like this, uh, this one going to display frame 60. And this one going to represent frame 30 and this one 60. And then I'm just going to make, uh, take this one here and So we're going to tweak these values a little bit. 0, 5 to have it look better. Good. So now if we do from 30 to 60, this will actually loop. So if we do this um, render flipbook and test it out. And then if we play this, you can see it's looping and we don't see any uh, jump. So this is perfect. So when we have this one, it's only about to plug this one in. And we're going to do first pass going to be from 30 to 60. And we render the first pass. And first pass done. And then we do the second pass, render this one. And the second pass is done. So let's check it out in Unity. So we need to do the um, populate the textures once more. And here we have it. <clears throat> So it works. So this is how we can do a looping animation, vertex animation. So, and also we could change to, if we take the shader and it's the dynamic remesher, we copy it and we go inside here and paste it here. And we could just rename it and do fluid edit, edit. Just gonna add an T to it like this. Then we just here gonna make in the base color, we're just gonna add a color like this, add it in like this. Bam, put the color to it. Uh, it's going to be not into emission. It's going to be to the base color like this. Good. And the color going to be, let's do a green-ish. And we're also going <clears> to <throat> make sure the mode is HDR. 
That way we can have it a little bit glowy, and that's cool. So if we go back to the scene, and then we just, well, the material, we just go here, and we go to side effects, and we have the fluid edit as we made. And the textures is still there, and we have the color, and we could just add a color to this. And because we have HDR, we can do the intensity and make more. So this is how you do it. And also let's do um, orange pipe. Isn't that neat? So I really hope you like this. And we could actually move it up a little bit because then we have more nice edges so you could tweak this a bit if you want maybe you want to play speed up or actually speed it down a little bit and uh, yeah and also you could change the fps and uh, maybe you want the auto playback to be done by script and so forth so you got the option to that i really hope you like it and I'm going to do a small extra one, extra one where we do a blood splash in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.